So I noticed that, that there was a little bit of confusion with the unit one worksheet, in particular one of the questions where it was asking you to determine the two constellations where the galactic equator crosses with the ecliptic. And I wanted to go over how to find these points of intersection, so I have all eight of the star maps open on my computer that I'll be sharing the screen with you in just a second so that you can see what I'm talking about when I start looking for those two points of intersection in those eight maps. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now that you can see the screen, I can go ahead and show you that I have all of the maps open right here side by side, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for us to actually scroll through and find out exactly which map we need to be using to find those two points of intersection where the galactic equator crosses with the ecliptic. So let's go ahead and open up the first map that I have, which happens to be map number three. As you can see right here in the top right, the label of this particular map. And it just so happens that we actually do have the map that we do need, because in this case, the galactic equator and the ecliptic are both visible in this map. So it might not be easy to, to notice them right away, but the galactic equator is labeled right up here at the top of the map, and it is represented by that double dotted dashed line um, that curves from the top right to the bottom left slash middle of the map, whereas the ecliptic in this case is here. And it's the alternating dotted dashed line that curves kind of along the central portion of the map. So we're looking to see where these two lines are actually crossing each other. So if I go ahead and zoom in where I do see them crossing, so I'll go ahead and zoom in right here and bring your attention to the point where these two cross. This is, let me do that again. This is the line that represents your galactic equator. And this is the curve that represents your ecliptic. Now they're both curves, but because we are zo so zoomed in, they might appear as lines in this portion, but some of it, might, it, it does look more like a curve. Regardless, we're looking to see where these two are crossing and it happens to be crossing right here. But the interesting thing is that it's very, very close to a boundary between two constellations. So there's the constellation of Gemini off to the left and the constellation of Taurus off to the right. So I can go ahead and I, I don't know what sound that was, but let's just go with it. I can go ahead and outline, that was the word I was going for, the boundary of Taurus, and it'll make it a lot easier for us to actually see that this constellation does cross I'm sorry, the galactic equator does cross the ecliptic in the constellation of Taurus. So the constellation boundaries are here. So it's taking a minute again. Okay. So here, it's not going to be a perfect outline of the boundary, but once it kind of snaps into shape, you'll see it a little bit better. like that. So that's the boundary or the whereabouts of the boundaries of the constellation Taurus. And you can see that the galactic equator and the ecliptic are crossing each other just inside that boundary. So one of the two constellations where this happens is Taurus, which was commonly confused for Gemini when I was going through some of your submissions. So hopefully this explanation right here has helped it make a little bit more sense. Now, on the other hand, we're going to go ahead and look for the map where we see the second point of intersection between the galactic equator and the ecliptic. Now, I don't know off the top of my head which map that is, so I'm just going to have to keep scrolling through these maps to find the one where, again, we have the ecliptic, which is going to appear as a diagonal line, and I can actually see that here. So this is the ecliptic again, going across the central region of this image here. But it, we can see that it's not, or it is crossing the galactic equator, which is going up and down across that diagonal. But that's the same point we were just looking at, because we can see that that's Taurus and Gemini. So it's the same point. However, if we keep going through, maybe we can find another point of intersection that might be useful for us. And in this case, I do see it. 
So right here, we actually have the curve of the ecliptic. So I'll go ahead and draw that again, just outlining it. So this is the curve of the ecliptic. Again, not a perfect curve because I'm not a graphic artist. But this is the ecliptic right here, continuing all the way off to the right. The other one, the galactic equator, is this dotted line that goes down that way. And it brings your attention to the actual label of the galactic equator, which is right there. So in order for us to see where these two are crossing each other, let's go ahead and find that point of intersection. So now that I've zoomed in quite a bit, this is my ecliptic and this is the galactic equator. So I'm looking to see where this point of intersection is. And I'll just put a little you know, dot of a different color on there so it's easier to spot. So that's going to be this circle right here. So that's going to turn into a dot, hopefully. There it is. So now that I'm zooming out, I can see that this point of intersection happens to lie within the constellation of Sagittarius. And the reason I know that is because if I go ahead and outline the boundaries of Sagittarius... We can see that it starts up there, comes down this way, and then goes to the left and down again. We don't need to really go in any further detail than this because that automatically shows you where the boundaries are of Sagittarius and the surrounding constellations, but we don't need those because we found the, the point of intersection and the constellation that it's in. So we didn't end up having we didn't end up needing to go through every single one of the maps i just had them open just in case but you could definitely see how it's a lot easier to start going through these maps and scroll through one after the other to find these objects so hopefully this video has given you a better understanding of what's going on and how to read them and hopefully you can now see the answers for that one question in particular where the galactic equator and the ecliptic are crossing those two points of intersection because you do have one point here and one point there on opposite sides of the celestial sphere one happens in sagittarius the other one happens in taurus so double check your answers and see if you got them right if you didn't get them right hopefully this video has helped you so good luck and let me know if you have any other questions